what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday. Colin and I are about to go do, I'm going to do like a full body hit workout, more like um, cardio and hit than lifting. North Carolina gyms are still closed, so we are still rocking it with the at-home workouts. Kind of took a break from doing yoga that past week just because we had so much going on and um, we had Morty and all that stuff, so we're trying to get back into the yoga game just kind of like regain our morning routine that we had just because it was a little thrown off when we had mortimer but yeah we're just trying to get back on like a schedule i still want to start waking up earlier we're still trying to do that but we need to go to bed earlier which is what we're not doing because it gets so sucked into a show or a movie and then it just doesn't work so we're gonna try and improve all the way around in this vlog and yeah i got a lot to do today so i'll be back in a minute I just showered, put some makeup on. I was going to take an Instagram picture, but it just literally started storming. I will show you. <sighs> Do you see this? I feel like because of the weather lately, my like internal mood and like everyday drive to get things done and be productive is being tested. Um, so I wanted to give a tip because this has been working for me lately. I pack my to-do list and I write literally everything possible on there. I write put on lipstick, check. Like wash my face, check. Because just the feeling of scratching stuff off or like marking it off makes you feel good and like you're doing something. I'll literally write um, make food, check put away groceries, check. You know, like every single thing that I need to do, pick up clothes, check. Like, <laughs> shut a door, check. Just kidding. But um, yeah, I just try and load up my to-do list because one, it makes me feel like I'm doing more so then internally I feel more productive so I want to keep being productive. Um, and also I just honestly like crossing things off on a piece of paper, so. Yeah, I'm currently wearing this sweatshirt from Feet. It's F-E-A-T. They have the comfiest sweatshirts ever. I wanted a really oversized sweatshirt, so I got a large. Um, and they sent me two other colors, but before I show you those, they also gave me a discount code for you guys. And if you use the code Bianca20, you can get $20 off your order. They're not sponsoring this vlog. They just gave me a discount code for you guys. So yeah, their sweatshirts are super comfy and like perfect for situations like right now. So this one's like a cream color so comfy and then they also sent me one in light pink and they also sent me this like dusty red one um i wore the light pink one yesterday and it was seriously so comfy but i wanted to take a cute picture in this cream one today which it might get sunny later so we'll still plan for it but yeah their sweatshirts are so so cute you should look them up on instagram their instagram's cute too in case you want to shop or get someone a gift or what have you i was gonna take the instagram picture first i just looked at the weather and it says that the sun going to come out um around like four or five so i'll just wait until then and try and take the picture um i've been like killing this is just me boasting myself i've been killing the at home photo shoots lately in my opinion i love doing them and i feel like i'm gonna keep doing them even after this is over because one is just so much easier than me having to like wait for colin to not be busy and ask him to come take my picture and i can just use like my phone and my tripod he does help me take some pictures but it is just so much easier. So I feel like now if we're out and about, I'll take a picture. But other than that, I'm just going to keep taking them at home. It is so much easier. But in the process of finding our next home, I'm definitely keeping in mind like how many Instagram photos can I get out of this place and like Instagram spots because that is like so important to me. And it sounds super like stupid and surface level of like I'm going to pick my home depending on like what content I can create inside of it but it is just so important to me and so when I'm looking on Zillow and looking at apartments and stuff I'm like if I don't feel like I can be creative in there and take cool pictures it's just not worth it to me you know that's something I can write off on my taxes is like my work environment since I work from home so that's another reason why is because I want it to be like a space where I can work and be happy and be fully creative inside so I've been on Zillow so much lately because if you think about it I mean, whatever's on Zillow right now won't be available when we move, but we need to start looking in September 
and that's like three months away so that is crazy and even better news i have a eye doctor appointment for june 1st so your girl's getting contacts praise the lord if you're new here i've been wearing the same contacts and don't come at me because i know this is really bad but i switched insurance and then there was like a slight issue um that my mom and i had we it was just a mess honestly it turned into a mess so um we got on different insurance now and it wasn't available until june 1st and so i literally made that appointment for june 1st because i was like mm -mm, i cannot wait any longer I'm gonna sit on this pillow so i've been literally working here oh by the way colin's not here he is at his house right now he usually films and stuff in his basement so you guys know his family has an unfinished basement and he completely transforms it into what he needs for a video and he's got a video coming up in a few weeks so he wants to start building now um, so he's over there starting to build so it's pretty much just me here this afternoon So usually Colin edits out here and I've been putting like my desk in our bedroom and sitting up there because um, I just like like separation of like work and he listens to his stuff and then I can talk and I can Insta story and stuff and we just don't really like not that we're getting in each other's way But we just have our own space so we can be creatively efficient <laughs> separately um whenever we aren't working together but since he's not here i'm working from the living room i'm gonna have alexa play like nice relaxing work music um i always if i'm working and want to listen to music i always say play a relaxing coffee shop station and she usually does a good job of putting on a good playlist so yeah i'm drinking a bang and we got connor a bang this morning so then colin got both of us a bang too I haven't had a cup of coffee in a very long time, which is crazy, but something I'm definitely putting on our wedding registry is an espresso machine because I want one so bad. I just don't want to buy it when I know we're getting married and people need things on their registry and those are things I can put on there. So like, why would I buy it? I don't know. And one more thing before I get to work. So you know how we're on the wait list for a puppy? Well, we were supposed to get married in May and then we would have had the puppy and he would be like, old you know a couple months old so we go like board him and stuff but if we are on the wait list and potentially can't get a dog until december he'll be too young to be boarded when we get married so now colin and i are like okay we want to get married with our new date in february and all that's working out and it's pretty much non-negotiable right now like that's what we're gonna do so now we're like this hurts to say so bad but maybe we should get a dog next march because it doesn't it just doesn't make sense to have the dog and it be so young and who's gonna watch it during the wedding like things just happened and they worked around so now it's like how are we what are we gonna do we don't know we haven't made a decision yet we probably are just gonna play things out and see how things roll you still know i'm a little worried and confused and a little sad but a little happy because i obviously want to get married when we want to get married but then that definitely kind of throws off our puppy plans because we originally thought that something else was gonna happen so mom would obviously watch it while we're on our honeymoon and stuff she would gladly watch it while we were on our honeymoon but yeah i don't know what do you guys think should we i i mean personally we think we should wait until after but i'd love to hear your opinion and if you have gotten married and got a dog before and if it was a puppy like how in the world did you do that or did you wait and do you guys think i should wait because right now i'm thinking we should wait and it's only like three months later so it's really not that big of a deal and we want the timing to be right in everything so yeah that's a little confusing and stressful but it's just kind of like hard right now to make plans like first of all we don't even know what, what this is gonna take us to it's like people ask me like oh what are your goals like what are what is this what is that and now i feel like after all this is over i'm just gonna make a whole new video and i don't even have any like thoughts right now i'd have to generate thoughts as the weeks go on i feel like i want to make a whole new like goals and mindset video and like what my thought process is and like what i'm going to start working on for the rest of the year and all this stuff because i saw this quote and it was like the first half like it's like a basketball game determine how you play in this it's like any game the first half of the game doesn't determine how you can come out and finish the second half of the game so you know like the first half was kind of bad but we still have a whole second half hopefully that we can turn it around and make it a really positive year so that's just kind of like my mindset and that's why i really want to remake that video of like my new outlook on 2020 and my goals and what i'm gonna do with my life you know what i mean okay i'm gonna work 
and stop rambling. As the sun came out, so I poured a glass of wine for an Instagram picture. Hello. I literally moved the couch back, kind of messing up the rug right now. Have everything going. I just turned everything off. Colin will drink this later. We know he's been on it editing and, you know, all forms of alcohol kick. So, we need groceries. Anyway, so I'm gonna edit those pictures really quick just to hopefully see that I got some. Literally paused everything because the sun started coming out and I was like, okay, I need to do that really quick. So, yeah, hopefully I got a good one. I will let you know. I did iPhone pictures this time instead of camera because Colin wasn't here and I have the tripod for my phone and it's just easier. A little stressed. By the way, I ended up using one of the pictures. It was kind of dark, but I like tried to finesse as much as I could to get it to look like my Instagram feed. So it's a little off, but I'll have Colin look at it when he gets back. He usually can look at something and be like oh it needs this and then it's like perfect i don't know how he does it i'm trying to learn and have him teach me um i'm still literally drinking my back bang i don't know how it's already 4 47 and today i had planned to go to target because we are completely out of trash bags toilet paper paper towels and a bunch of stuff so that might be a tomorrow thing instead of today i'm gonna do a sponsored instagram stories for a campaign I have in June. I wasn't gonna do them today, but I'm ready, so I figured I might as well do them today. Um, I don't have to submit them until this coming Monday, but we all know like if I procrastinate how things go. Plus I'm ready, so I figured might as well. I might end up having to do Target tomorrow and we just might have to suffer with like our last trash bag that we have. And also, I just have clothes all over my room, man and Colin's room, so I really wanna get those put away too, but that might be a tomorrow thing too. Also, if you remember how Sam and Sue is doing my wedding bands, they just finished it and it should be coming soon and it is so freaking cool, I'm so excited. So yeah, that actually worked out so well now that our wedding's a lot closer than we anticipated originally. So yeah, anyway, okay, I'm gonna call Wells Fargo. My phone's about to die too, so I'm gonna probably call them from my room. <sighs> stressed why does the days go by so quick I don't know okay guys so have I gotten a ton of things checked off my to-do list yes I'm planned remember how I said I need to go to Target and stuff it's not gonna happen today so it's definitely gonna have to happen tomorrow I just did my sponsored Instagram stories all I have to do is edit that but I'll probably do that tomorrow just because I'm trying to space things out and also so I ordered the new set active set in Stardust which was like the nude color and I know that that shipped and that's coming soon so um it, I mean, it could get here by the time I want to film this ab workout or not, but the next workout I want to post this weekend probably is an ab workout, and then I'll put my clothes away tomorrow because I'm going to vlog today and tomorrow anyway, so I'm just going to like move that to the next to-do list, but um, yeah, I got like a ton of stuff off of my to-do list, so good stuff. Right now, I just made, okay, I'm kind of like really out of food. Another place I need to go to is the grocery store. So I just made toast with a fried egg on top and I put butter on my toast and that's it. Literally plain, forgot salt and pepper and everything, but it's okay. I have my tripod here with my phone and to make up for like me not really being around on Instagram because yesterday I did a takeover on Natalie Barbu's Instagram and then today I just kind of like wasn't in the mood to do anything. So I'm going to do like a Q&A and I said ask questions I've never answered before. So it might be juicy. We'll see. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna eat this really quick though because your girl is so hungry. Okay, I just finished my Instagram Q&A. It genuinely took a long time. I'm gonna start making the Hello Fresh meal but I don't even know when Colin's coming home. I need to take my phone off of this. I should have had my phone charging when I was doing that and I didn't. I'm going to make dinner now. It's seven. What the heck? We didn't get home till like, I didn't start eating in today until like one something just because we got home so late because we were chit chatting with Colin's mom. Call, should we just call Colin together? I feel like that would be a fun thing for us to do. Called him three. Okay, one, I had to call him to ask him what's the like, biggest thing we argue about because I also just couldn't think of anything but it is interior design which is crazy if you saw the q a you would have seen that but we just have different styles but it's okay um anyway i've called him like three times now asking him things and i need him to now tell me if i can start making dinner hello hey hello have you left yet no not yet sorry 
I'm trying to hang up this wall. <laughs> if are you leaving soon? Can I start making dinner? Yeah. Okay, I'm starving. Okay. Yeah, you can start. My bad. That's okay. 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 Will you be okay. leaving in like 15? Yeah. Promise? Yes. Can I trust you? <laughs> yes. Okay. Alright. Yep. Here's the meal that we're making. This one's just not as healthy, but honestly, like, whatever. I picked it because it literally looked bomb. It's blackened chicken penne, and I haven't had penne pasta in so long, and it's honestly my favorite pasta. Also, why are so many people getting hate? After seeing you guys comment on my video, and you guys literally cheered me up so much. Like, I went from feeling so down and upset and just, like, sad to reading all of your, like, support and comments and stuff, and it literally turned me around so I am incredibly thankful for you guys on a whole nother level than you don't even understand um, and for the people who are like loyal and always have my back you don't understand how much that means to me truly because if I'm being honest like putting your life out on social media has a lot of negative effects and for someone to like just be able to sit there and judge your whole life and not even know who you truly are is really powerful in a way that is undescribable and it can it I don't know who could not be affected you know and so I was listening to I don't even remember what or when or whatever it was like last week when I was feeling really down and obviously you want to kill people with kindness and I'm only bringing this up because I just feel like there's so much hate right now and it's not even like people who do things like what I do or what Sierra does or like Brooke or anyone it's like it's literally there's just bullies everywhere people in elementary school bully and I was listening to something that said if someone says something mean to you they need to respond because a lot of the time honestly I just delete because it's my YouTube channel Brooke and Danielle said this in their um, podcast the other day and it was freaking awesome what they said but basically it's my youtube channel it's my platform and i get to decide and i get to control what is said what is posted what is replied what is commented and it's like it's my baby so i get to be in complete control and in charge of it um and i was listening to something that said if you ever feel the need to reply just reply i hope you have a great day like they say wow you look so fat and you say i hope you have a great day what are they going to say back to that I mean, hopefully they'll say, I hope you do too, but I doubt it after you say that to them being a complete asshole, but like kill them with kindness. And I did that to somebody today. They said like something so stupid and I was like, oh, hope you have a good day. And they didn't even reply. And I know they saw it because I can see that they see like saw it, but it made me feel so good to sit there and be like, you're being an asshole, but I hope you have a good day. Like, honestly, please turn your day around and be nicer to somebody else. And I felt so good internally. So just always be the bigger person. I said this on my Instagram the other day, but if someone's trying to bring me down, if someone's trying to bring you down, they are already below you. So don't let it bring you down because you don't want to go down there. Trust me. Colin's home and here's the meal I made. Yum. Yeah. I'm about to actually post a little thing that I just wrote about the current matter at hand and supporting George Floyd and I'm about to put this on my Insta story. I just wanted to write out all my thoughts and feelings first. So yeah, if you want to pause that and read it if you didn't see it on my story, go for it, girl. Guys, we finished The Last Kingdom. Sorry, this is... Now we're watching The 100. Yeah, anyway. Um, okay, we ate dinner. I'm back on my Popcorners game. And I'm snacking on popcorners. They're addicting. I can't help it. Hey guys, here's my gym fit of the day. I'm going to conquer that mess of clothes today. I'm wearing Vital Seamless Leggings from Gymshark. They're old. And then I'm wearing a Lululemon. I think it's the Flow and Go bra. I'm unsure. I can have um, this linked below. But I just did my morning motivational quote of the morning that I always do. Oops, one didn't upload. But if you didn't know on my Instagram, Monday through Friday every morning, I post um, a quote of, well, I say a quote on my story, but it's usually just one that I found on Pinterest that morning or the day before that really inspired me. So yeah, I always do that, but I've made my pre-workout and I'm about to go do, I think I might do banded leg day, like a bunch of band work. So yeah. I'm back from working out. I've also showered and gotten ready. This morning when we got back, I drank my smoothie and like watched YouTube videos and just kind of relaxed. But now 
I really need to go and run errands. I need to go to Target, I need to go to GNC, and the grocery store. Target, I'll read you my list. We have to get trash bags, paper towels, a amount of mascara, GNC, we need pre-workout and protein, and the grocery store, we need all of the fruit we eat, spinach, almond milk, almond butter, avocado oil, Colin needs bagels, Colin needs to like basically, bagels. oh, never mind, I forgot he bought that. Basically, all the like daily foods we eat. We still have two HelloFresh meals left, so we'll eat that today and then tomorrow and then Sunday. Um, I'm not gonna vlog it just because Colin's filming and I won't have the lens, but um, I'll put it on my Instagram story so you guys can follow along there. But my stepsister is always coming over and we're kind of going through my closet and getting ready to list a bunch of things on Poshmark and kind of make a bin. And she's gonna go through and pick out clothes that she wants from my closet before I sell them um, so she can look. And we're, I just need to prep for that tomorrow. I also won't vlog this because Colin will have the camera, but um, you can follow along on Instagram because I'm gonna do a deep, deep clean. So yeah. Just came back from the grocery store and also the place where we're getting Colin's rings from. We didn't know what his ring size was, so they just sent us the ring sizer because um, I got my ring sized at the actual jeweler, but since places are closed, they just sent me the sizer. So he's in eight and a half, and now I can tell them what size he is. So I'm really excited. Okay, and also, okay, so haul. First, we'll do order of where we went. So um, GNC was actually out of our birthday cake um, protein. So this time we got blueberry muffin, and I'm very excited about it. So I got more protein, and I got um, pre-workout, so more mimosa. Next time I'm gonna order online again so also Colin started using my pre-workout and I ran out way faster than anticipated okay so from Target next we got grocery bags just Target brand bags um, we got more toothpaste I feel like every time I go to um, Target I haul toothpaste we got more saran wrap um, I just got this mascara I'm like in between I don't know what brand mascara drugstore to get so comment down below what your favorite drug store, drug store mascara is because that's what I wear is drugstore. So then I also got this bin from the home decor section because I'm gonna roll up my sweatshirts in my closet and start putting them in this bin because when they're just on the shelf and I take them out, it like unrolls another one and then it falls on the ground. I'm also gonna get rid of some tomorrow. So I just find that bins are easier and so I got this big guy for my sweatshirts. Last thing from Target that we got is paper towels so we were really out of paper towels and i felt like i literally couldn't clean until we had paper towels so i'm glad we got those okay grocery haul i got almond milk we got chicken breast because i ordered some vegetarian hello fresh meals and um we always add our own chicken we got ripe strawberry mochi because ripe strawberry mochi is the best mochi there is i turned down the brightness a little bit um, we got avocado oil because we always cook with avocado oil. I got four packs of strawberries because I am a strawberry. And then we got bananas, oranges, and blueberries. And then also, what's up there? Oh, I got spinach. What else is up there? And I got a bottle of Riesling. That's the whole, <laughs> that's everything we got. We were in and out of everywhere trying to be really, really quick. Not talking to anyone. I just cut up some fruit. Got oranges and I got my strawberries over here. Um, okay, so I've got some last minute, com not really last minute, but a few things of computer work to wrap up before the weekend. And then I'm gonna start editing this vlog. And as this vlog's uploading, I'm gonna actually deep clean because now my stepsister's coming over tomorrow to help me do my closet instead of Sunday. So I'm gonna eat my fruit, get really productive for a second, edit, and then get really productive again. Okay guys, I'm gonna wear that later. Um, so I put all my clothes away and kind of, okay, these clothes need their own basket. Then there's clothes in that basket and then things are looking like better. <laughs> I just really need a big walk-in closet. I'm also listening to the What We Said podcast. 
and then after that I'm gonna listen to some more but I'm basically just cleaning up and I'm staying hydrated I've started only drinking out of my hydro flask when I'm working out and then drinking out of this cup during the day because it's just so much easier to refill and to drink I guess <laughs> I don't know I need to put this stuff away I was wearing this shirt earlier but I took it off because it was just pretty unnecessary um also our drawer is broken so it won't shut all right, all good. So I'm going to move into the living room area and do the dishes. I guess that's not the living room. That's definitely the kitchen. There's a Colin shirt on the ground over there. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing like a major cleanup before I edit this vlog and then start making dinner while the vlog's uploading. And I think that Colin and I are going to start watching Dead to Me tonight because we started watching The 100 last night and I just hated it. I just really didn't like it. So I'm convincing him we need to try something different. Okay, so before I go and do the dishes, I was just talking to my mom and she was like, you do realize you're getting married in February? So we were gonna wait until um, the, like, they sent over the contract, but my mom was like, you're definitely getting married here, so you need to contact the wedding planner today because they need to know like when your wedding is and everything like that. So I just sent over an inquiry to the wedding planner and they are 20% off right now, so that is really good. That's like the first discount that we've gotten from Corona. So yeah, I just sent in an inquiry, so now I'm gonna go do the dishes, but just letting everyone know, I've contacted the wedding planner. cleaned everything so i'm gonna end this vlog now so you guys can watch it tonight i hope you enjoyed it if you're not already following me on instagram make sure you do so you don't miss out anything that happens this weekend since colin's taking the camera and i will see you guys in my next video